It's easier to get 60, 70, 100K doing it the credit way than it is at your job, no cap. I'm gonna show you how to get this money. I'm gonna show you how to flip it. I'm gonna show you how to do all that today because it's time for you to start eating. A lot of us have been operating on the wrong side of the fence. And if you do it the correct way, you'll eat for a lifetime. And this is no cap, so listen up. 20 years old, how much credit line do you have open right now? 3.2 million. 3.2 million. How many flights have you gotten free in the last year? 160 flights, where are you staying? You, he flew here on JetSmarter private jet. Why would you get all this credit? To, to leverage to make more money. Your $100,000 in cash can only go so far, mm -hmm. right? But if you had a million dollars in credit, you just 10 x yourself to make more money. It's all about leveraging other people's money to make money. When you overstand how powerful credit is, when you, when you develop the real skill set of knowing the power of credit, you will never have to work for money again. This credit game is different. And if you've been running behind, listen, it's time for you to catch up, you did? So look, I'm gonna teach you right now. First thing you need to do is go to self.com. All right, self.com or Credit Strong or KIK off, kick off, any one of those sites. I recommend self because I've used it. Basically, you get, you know, you pay into a loan at the end of that 12 months. It's pretty much a savings account. You just paying into it for 12 months. They can report that to the credit bureaus at the end of that 12 months or six months or whatever term you decide to choose. They're gonna give you that money back. And then you have a consistent payment history that's been reported to the credit bureaus that's gonna boost your score right up. This is no cap. For some of you who are uh, already renting your house or your apartment, if you're renting rentreporters.com or rentalkarma.com, you can use those websites, all right, to report your rent and they go back. Even two years ago, they'll go back and report that onto your credit report showing consistent payment history, all right? All your credit profile is all about that history. It's some people that got a seven, 800 credit score that still can't get credit. Why? Because their profile is not set up correctly. Correctly. All right, if you do what I'm telling you, you get these primary accounts. You need at least 10 accounts on your credit report to have the best bang for your buck. All right, so you can get you a self, get you a kickoff, credit strong, pay into a couple of those. If you need to get you a secure credit card, do that. Honestly, what I would do, you can get a, a secure credit card and try to max it out. Not max out as far as swiping it, but max it out as far as how much money you can put in it because the, the bigger amount that you put in it, when it seasons up and go unsecure, you your line of credit will be bigger. So what do I mean by that? If you have a secure credit card, meaning you have to put the money on there. So if you can go up to like 2,000, 2,500 or 5,000, use that as a savings account, build it up. And then, you know, buy gas, buy like little stuff from the store, pay it back on time. In six months, the company is gonna give you your money back and then they're gonna change the card from secure to unsecure and put their own money on there. And then now you got an unsecure credit card and you can start doing these flips, but you have to do it the correct way. Cause if you don't, you'll be screwed up, all right? So from the secure credit card, you could do uh, a secure loan, meaning you, it's kind of the same way itself, but you can go to the bank or your credit unions and, and get secure loans the same way, you know, pay into it. And you know, over time they'll be reporting and you're good to go. You could do that as many times as you want to. You could do that at multiple banks. The goal is to get as much credit as possible. If somebody is telling you don't get credit, don't use it. Do not listen to them, bro, because most of the time they're not even where you want to be at. And you need to listen to people who's doing it, who's actively out here getting to this paper. All right. Is there a downside to having a lot of credit? Yes. If you're somebody who don't know how to control their spending, if you're somebody who doesn't, you know, have self-control in these areas, you definitely don't need to do this because it'll get ugly. All right, but if you're somebody who has goals and dreams, like maybe you want to get into the trucking industry, maybe you want your own hair salon and your own barbershop, maybe you want, you know, to be able to do a lot of these things that you acquire to do, but you just don't have the funding. All right, so this is how you get the funding and you need it. And also you need, you know, good credit to get a house and when you're trying to get a car and all this stuff, right? All this stuff that we like, you could do it through credit, all right? And I'm telling you, it is the dopest thing on earth, no cap. So listen, there's a lot of different plays with credit and why somebody would want to acquire so much. Now, me, myself, I'm going after as many credit cards as I can, I'm after as much business funding as I can. Why? Because I'm trying to build an empire. I'm trying to become the bank. And there's a lot of different ways you could do that, right? And the reason why you wanna become the bank is because you won't have to go to the bank to get funding that you need because you already have it. 
and they're giving you free money in hopes that you mess up and then you have to pay them back millions of dollars in interest. But one of the things you wanna do is you wanna make sure you get 0% interest credit card. All right, once you finally get to that level, you've been building your credit slowly but surely, your score's jumping up, you wanna go and get 0% interest credit cards with cash back, airline miles, and points. The reason why you wanna do 0% interest because there, you're not gonna have to pay interest on any of that for at least 12 to 15 months, which is like a year, year and a half, right? So the reason why that's important is because you can now use this money to invest, right? And that's the reason why we trade. I use my money to invest. You don't have to use all of it. Imagine this stuff. And we'll get into the business credit side right now because imagine this, when you build business credit, even on your personal, but your personal reports and you don't want your score to go down. So if you do it operated on the business credit side, then you'll be good to go. But imagine this, you, you get your LLC, like I've already told y'all, if you don't have an LLC, go to inkfile.com, get your LLC because you need that, all right? You will need it in the future, trust me, get it early. Even if it ain't doing no business, you need that, all right? But you go to inkfile.com, you get your LLC, you let it season up, you open a business bank account, all right, you put at least $100, and the check and the savings, $50, however you gotta do it, build a relationship with the bank. That's all you're doing is building relationships, right? When you build them relationships and your credit starts to go up and you're able to apply for bigger and better limits and credit, you get it on the business side because the business will not report to your personal. Once you do that, you can go to multiple banks in the same day on the same amount of inquiries, right? And get 20, 30, 40, 50,000 dollars in credit cards, right? What you wanna do then, after you done figured out your play on what you're gonna do, the reason why I like it is because I trade in the markets, right? So I can use my money in the markets, right? So you have to be responsible with this stuff and know that if you don't have a set strategy, then you need to make sure you got it down packed before you do anything I'm telling you, because I'm not a financial advisor, all right? But you can, you know, you get 20, 30, 40, $50,000. You could pull money from them credit cards. Now, how would you do that? You can get a QuickBooks account, Shopify account, PayPal, I don't recommend and PayPal because they be shutting accounts down. I mean, Stripe account, it's a bunch of different ones, right? All you do is create yourself an invoice for the amount on the credit card, swipe the credit card, that money then goes straight to your bank account, all right? Now you have the money off the credit card. Now remember, these are 0% interest credit cards, right? So they want to accrue interest for the next 12 months. So after you do that, now you got the money in your bank account, you can then fund a Forex account with that money, all right? Or a binary account or a real estate or hair salon or whatever's going to make you money. All right, you can then fund that thing. And if something happens to it or whatever, it don't show on your personal credit. So your personal credit is good, you know what I'm saying? So let's say we making a play, I'm a trader, I be eating in the markets all day. So I go in there, I put the $20,000 in, let's say a trading account, all right? I'm flipping the money. I'm not gonna risk the 20,000. Let's say I'm gonna risk 3,000 of it. But let's say I risk 3,000 of it and end up making 10, 15,000 off of that 20, right? Cause I do, I do that kind of stuff all the time. So I risk 3,000 thousand of it because if, if I blow the three thousand I can pay that back fairly quickly I would just take the rest of the money put it back on the card then pay the three thousand back but I got a whole year to do that so when you know we're trading they don't usually take you a whole year to make these profits yeah y'all get what I'm saying so I put that money in the market flip it and then I take the 20 off that I owe right on the car and just put it right back on there. What that's gonna do is that's gonna give me airline miles, it's gonna give me points, and it's gonna give me all this stuff, right? On the credit card side, which I never really use, I never really spent the money at all, right? I just leveraged it to make a little bit more money and now I still have profit in my Forex account or binary account, whatever, that I didn't use, right? And then I pay the car back, boom. And I can continue to do that with different things. If, they, if I need a house, if I need a, a real estate property, I just liquidate the credit Credit cards, the same way I just told you, make an invoice, boom, 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 use that for the down payment on the house. If I need to uh, do real estate, then I could uh, use another credit card, 0% credit card to fix the house up, then sell the crib, refinance the house, and take the money out and pay the cards back. However you gotta do it, but these are different strategies that you could do with credit. Now, that's why it's so dope, because I'm not using any of my own money. I could literally be a flat broke person with good credit and learn how to make six and seven figures by just leveraging credit. That's the importance of it. Now you always get these people like, oh, what if it goes left? What if it goes left? Anything can go left, but if you don't take risk, you don't get no reward. You know what I'm saying? So if you're skeptic, if you're somebody who don't don't like to play with credit, don't do it. You ain't gotta do it. You can stay doing what you're doing. Now I hope it's working for you. So, but somebody like me, hey, listen, I'm gonna go get it, I'm gonna go eat. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get this money, I'm gonna flip. You could uh you could use the cards, liquidate them, go buy uh some cards. I mean, it's not cars, but cars, uh, used cars or whatever, how you wanna do it, Uber Eats or Turo or whatever you gotta do, man. It's a lot of money out here. Another thing, when you finally get this credit and you finally running it up, 
You can use it on social media to run ads, right? To bring you a bigger revenue. Now there's a lot of guys that I know that's been using their Amexes and running up 30, 40, 50 thousand dollar ads, and it's bringing them back five, six hundred k in a month, a million dollars in a month by running ads. Now, you as a regular person would never be able to do that because you don't got access to that much capital because you worried about using your own money. I don't want to use credit, so these are the benefits, and this is why so many people are passing you up is because you're not using it. You know what I'm saying? You don't know how to use it, you don't know how to leverage it, and so once you learn it then it's a game changer because then you're going to look around and your whole life going to be been in change because see, now you'll be able to take free trips. You're able to get access to, you know, airline miles and uh, the, the airport lounges and live this luxury, you know, lifestyle if that's what you want to do, but you can do it through the vehicles that I'm telling you. It's a blessing. Like I said, once you get it down packed, it's limitless, especially if you learn how to um, trade. If you learn how to trade, it goes faster and faster because now I know how to flip a hundred dollars into a thousand dollars in a week. You know what I'm saying? I know how to do this kind of stuff. And it's like, bruh, do you know the power in that? When you could take a hundred dollars off a credit card, put it in the market, flip it to a thousand, pay the hundred dollars back, and then go about your day and keep flipping the rest of that money. It's like, it gets ridiculous. It's really a, a ATM machine at this point. So, and then not only that, the credit card that you have, the reason why you can get so many and the reason why you want so many is because you could turn that into a business by adding other people on as authorized users, having them pay you for your credit cards to report on their credit, right? As long as your credit cards are in good standing, people will pay you, right? To have your credit cards report on their credit. And uh, by them doing that, it's gonna boost their credit score. You're getting paid and you can open up at least on each credit card, I think seven to 10 slots. So if you got seven to 10 people paying you three four five hundred dollars a month you know what i'm saying that that'll add up to a 70k uh, to 100k um a year that's a business by itself you know what i'm saying so these are the important things that you can do you can also take money off your credit card and lend it to somebody else right and get a return on investment you might have a buddy with an idea you could be a hard money lender. It's, it's so many plays with it i'm telling you so the reason why i always stress credit is because listen you know how to use it it'll change your life your money sits pretty in the bank you let the bank's money work for you all right now i need y'all to go do your homework and look up velocity banking I need you to do your homework and go look up infinite banking on how you can flip life insurance. If y'all wanna see those videos, let me know because I'll make them videos, how you can make money off life insurance by having it like and really flipping the bag like the wealthy. So we'll talk more about that, but this credit game is different. Comment below some of y'all credit limits. Uh, if y'all don't know what to do with them, you know what I'm saying? If you need your credit fixed, man, just like do exactly what I said. And one thing, another thing you could do, if you owe like a little medical bill or just something small on your credit, man, just go ahead and pay it. Cause if you pay it, but make sure when you talk to the people on the phone, call them up and say, yo, I want to do a settlement. I want to settle for an amount. What amount can I settle for? And they might give you a lower amount. So if you owe 500, they might say we could settle for like 200. Just go ahead and pay that. But make sure you ask them, say, yo, I want to make sure that uh, this is going to report on my credit report that it's already paid. And if they say, yeah, cool, go ahead and knock it out. And in like two or three days, it'll already report you good, you good to go. All right. So you can also go to the Experian app um, and go in there and dispute um, addresses. If you got more than one address, if you got older addresses, you can go get those taken off. That'll boost your score up like a, a number of different things, man, that you could do to get it popping, all right? So, with that being said, man, get on this credit game, because if you ain't got it, you're losing. I'm telling you, this, your come up is through the credit. You know what I'm saying? On the business side and or the personal, however you want to play the game, play it right and live your life. You dig? It's your boy Jeremy Cash, I'm gonna let y'all pee. God's timing is perfect. Patience has a purpose. Waiting for it's worth it. Right on time when we lay to the